Welcome everybody, this is Alex from The Consultants and today we'll talk about action titles. In this video you'll learn what action titles are and why you should use them within your PowerPoint presentations, why regular headlines are not the best choice for your PowerPoint charts, how you can make your audience focus on the aspects you want to emphasize by using action titles and what characteristics make a good action title. So let's dive into it. What is one thing that consultants do differently than most other people in their PowerPoint presentations? They use action titles. But what the heck is an action title? It's pretty easy actually. Just take a look at any newspaper. Each article comes with a headline summing up its key message. This way you'll get the gist of the article without having to read through all of it. Exactly that is what we call an action title. As this is a very powerful communication tool, you should definitely use it for your business presentations. So why not use regular headlines like almost everybody does? Most people use descriptive headlines for their PowerPoint presentations, either because they learned to do it this way or because they don't know better. But if you think about it for a minute, it really doesn't help your audience in any way. Everybody reading a slide has to go through it completely in order to understand what it is you want to point out. Also, descriptive headlines leave lots of room for interpretation and misunderstandings. So why not do it like newspapers and tell everybody up front which message you want to deliver? Now let me show you the power of action titles. Let's take a look at this example showing how many insurance companies existed throughout the years within Germany. Depending on which message you want to deliver, there are various action titles you may use. Despite a strong downward trend, there are still over 500 insurance companies within Germany. This action title focuses on the number of companies in the year 2015. Over the last 15 years, the number of insurance companies within Germany declined by 18%. You would use this action title if you want to focus your audience's attention on the overall trend throughout the years. Between 2005 and 2010, the number of German insurance companies dropped the most. With this action title, you focus on the big drop between the years 2005 and 2010. Our analysis of German insurance companies is based on a 15-year trend. If you want to focus on the time span shown in the graph instead of the actual values, this could be your action title of choice. So really think about what you want your audience to focus on and put it right on top of your slide. For drafting good action titles, there are two guidelines you need to follow. Good action titles use active voice and a complete sentence structure. Subject, predicate and objects. The subject is the who or what of the sentence, the predicate is the verb and the object is any noun or concept that is part of the action of the subject. Let's take a look at two examples. Here you can see that an action title written in active form is much more punchy and compelling than passive form. In the second example, you can see that without all necessary items for your sentence structure, an action title is hard to understand. When drafting your action title, make sure to leave out filler words and use short sentences that are on point. Let me show you two examples of action titles before and after leaving out unnecessary content. As you can see, by leaving out those fill words, your action title is more on point and more punchy. Always take a second look at your action title to check for unnecessary words or parts. To sum it up, here are the things to keep in mind. Always try to use action titles over standard descriptive headlines. Make sure that your action title delivers the key message of your slide. Use active voice and complete sentences. Leave out filler words and unnecessary content. Be on point. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to receive more tips on how to improve your PowerPoint skills. It will help us a lot.